When Fortnite hit the scene, it took the gaming world by storm, revitalizing and adding a fresh new take on the battle royale genre in a world that was dominated by PUBG. Now, if you remember, PUBG used to be like number one on Twitch. It really had a hardcore, gritty, skill-based type feel to it. And when Fortnite dropped, it changed everything because it added a brand new element, which we've never seen before which was building. Building was something that just added new strategy, new tactics, new situations to every gunfight, making every game feel different and fresh. Unlike PUBG, where you usually had a set place that you would land, find loot, hope that you didn't get a pistol while the guy next to you had a machine gun. But in Fortnite, it was different. You could land somewhere, maybe not get the best weapons, but still survive fights because you were able to maybe build a little bit better than the next person. But what else did Fortnite do? What else did Fortnite actually bring to the table that changed gaming forever? Well, it was the Battle Pass. Now look, I'm not saying that the Battle Pass is exclusive to Fortnite. Other games have probably done it, but nobody has quite fulfilled it the way Fortnite has. Giving players something to grind for every single day and it wasn't something that was handed to you which means that you had to continuously come back to the game for days weeks months on end to get to that covenant 100 level item now as fortnite has moved along of course the battle passes have been a little bit lackluster been a little eh i don't know i haven't played lately but i can definitely say for sure that there have been plenty of games including nba 2k that have tried copying the battle pass format which brings me to the title of this video. Now, how is it killing NBA 2K? Well, let's talk about what Fortnite is doing right with their battle pass. First off, the battle pass is very long, pause. It is 100 levels long. And as you, of course, level up, it gets harder and harder and harder to get to that level 100. Of course, Fortnite gives you a pay to win option or a pay to complete it option, but either way it go, most casual people will probably just take, spend the days or the weeks amount of time to complete it and then move on because it makes you feel happy that you're getting something that's exclusive to that season that will never come back. Fort, not Fortnite, I'm sorry, 2K has tried to, again, replicate this by giving people an incentive to come back to their game every single day however they've done it wrong and it's something that is killing the game because now that you've taken away the grind from 99 and made it something that is easily attainable for casuals you've also taken away the level 40 grind by breaking it down into a battle pass that can be completed in about a week or so even by casual players to the point where by the time that you finish it you still have about 20 or so days left in the season giving people something or no longer giving people something for them to chase and that's what's killing 2k if you talk to most people who have stopped playing 2k already it's not because they're not having fun it's not because they're not still enjoying the game it's because they don't have anything to grind for they tell you well i've already hit level 40 and i don't see what else is there a reason to play obviously as you see there's a legend uh they changed the requirements to hit legend and of course even with that some of those requirements you cannot even do until the next season Yes, you can score 100,000 points, but as I talked about in other videos, that's something that you can attain easily by just simply playing the game. The 12 or 20 season quests, you can only do as many season quests as there is allowed. And at this point, there's only three per season so far. And of course, the 20 events. And if there's no events, then again, your only thing that's left for you to do on the game is just to grind the points out. And so what is the solution? What can we do to fix this problem where 2K is trying to keep players coming back towards their game, but the battle pass thing is just simply not working? Well, I believe that they should do something along the lines of this. I believe that they should bring it back to around 2K18, 2K17, 16's model, where it takes a very long time for you to get to the next level of the next phase, but along the bar on a single bar for let's say from example from 90 to 91 at certain points in that bar you should be able to unlock different cosmetics or different skill points or badge points or different things like that as if you're also leveling a battle pass this gives people an incentive to grind the bar that they are currently on make them want to keep coming back because and let's just say from level bar 95 to 96 at the halfway mark you get a new badge point 
that will give people a reason to chase. They'll give something for them to go off of and keep them motivated. I don't know about you guys, but I'm the type of player that I need something to chase. I need to feel fulfilled. I need to feel like there's a carrot in front of me and I need to feel like once I get that carrot, I will have a great reward. And 2K has robbed us of that sensation as soon as you hit 40. It, it goes away immediately for the rest of the season. We currently now have about five or four days left in the season. And I'll probably complete that battle pass in about a week, a week and a half. And it's not because I'm no life in it, but because Wreck, for one, gives you a shit ton of XP as, as far as some other game modes. Maybe people that play Park might have a longer time. But at the end of the day, if you know what you're doing, if you know how to play the game, if you know what the battle pass XP is looking for, what the battle pass is looking for to level it up, you can pretty much complete it fairly simple, fairly quickly. It's no different from 2K19. That grind wasn't hard if you knew what to do, if you knew how to maximize XP and people just know how to maximize XP. Go for lobs, flashy passes, ankle breaking passes, different things like that. I mean, it's by now, if you're a grinder, you know what you got to do to grind. But anyway, I want to know what you guys thought. So I want to know what you think. I want to know how you feel about NBA 2K trying to copy the battle pass model. I personally don't think that it works. I think they need to change it. I think they need to get away from it. And I think they need to get away from casual players. I know some of you guys are going to not like me saying that, but at the end of the day, it's the truth. Yes, casual players are the ones that keep this game afloat. Casual players are the ones that get on every day. Casual players are the ones that give these live streamers and people who record videos content because they're the ones that don't care about their record and they'll continue to come around and continue to come around because they just enjoy playing the game and playing against their favorite content creators. But at the same time, too, you have to give the people who put your game on a platform something to chase give them something to want to continue to play your game and so far i think that nba 2k is just failing to do that i don't think the battle pass model works i just don't think it does i just think that it's something that they're copying from fortnite to experiment with to see if it works and it's failing miserably because again with that battle pass it can be completed in about a week and a half two weeks now what am i supposed to do for the next 20 something days left in the season i don't know until they start bringing more things to the game more events more I uh, definitely would just say more events, definitely more events to keep things fresh. It's going to be hard for people to want to play the game. And again, if you do have the events, make sure that the servers work. Ruffles was miserable. I still don't understand how people were winning it. I still don't get how people were winning Ruffles when the server was so slow, so laggy. Maybe I'm just trash. Maybe I'm just terrible. I don't know. Somebody's going to comment in the comment section and say, get good, kid. I don't know, probably. But either way, man, this is your boy AOVZ, man. I enjoy having these talks with you guys. I enjoy making this type of content. Thank you guys so much who continue to come back to the channel, subscribe, leave likes. We're definitely growing again. We're definitely bringing more traction to the channel again. Definitely the views are coming back in. I just really appreciate all of you, man. It's, it's been really refreshing, really fun coming back and just making content. I want to continue to make content like this. I want to continue to be able to play the game, have fun. And not take it so serious like I have in other, in later years. I really just want to come on here and just have those conversations like these. But anyway, man, it's your boy AOVZ, man. And I will see you guys in the next video.